Hey teachers, a few weeks ago here on this channel, I had a video all about how to take a PDF file and convert it into a poster for your classroom. And I got a lot of positive feedback for that video. So in this week's video, what I wanna do is show you the opposite, how you can take a PDF file and resize it by making it smaller so that you can fit two PDF pages on one page. And the reason why this is helpful, I really like it for interactive notebooks. Students can cut them out and paste them very easily into their notebooks. It's also a great option if you are limited on the number of copies that you can make each month at your school. This is a great way to cut down and still enable your students to be able to complete worksheets and activities. So I mentioned that I really like interactive notebooks, especially for math. So what I wanna do is take these PDF interactive notebook pages that I have, and I wanna put two on one page because when I print one page out, it's too large for the kids to put into their notebook. So I wanna put two pages on one page, so that way the kids can cut them out and paste them into their notebooks. Now before I show you how to do that, I do wanna let you know that I have math interactive notebooks available for third, fourth, and fifth grade in my store. All of my interactive notes feature important terms, step-by-step -step instructions for solving problems, visual aids, fun riddles and sayings that students can use to help them remember math concepts. These are a great way to introduce math concepts to your students and then they can keep them in a binder or in a notebook and refer to them when they're completing homework or a center independently. All of my math interactive notes can be found through a link in this video description. Now let's go ahead and get into how we can resize those pages for either notebooks or just for cutting down on printing. We're gonna jump on my computer right now and I am going to show you how to change the settings in the free version of Adobe Acrobat. You do not have to have a paid version to do this. I'm gonna show you how to change those settings so that you can print. All right, so I have got my third grade math interactive notes pulled up here, and you can see it's over 100 pages, but I only wanna print the fraction and mixed number pages, which I believe are pages 12 and 13. It is important to remember what pages you wanna print if you're only going to print a specific page range. Now, to get started with resizing, you are just going to click the print icon up here, and if you wanna print the whole thing, you can leave it on all. I do not wanna print over 100 pages, so I'm gonna click on pages and change it to 12 and 13. Those are my fraction and mixed number pages. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to click on multiple because we want multiple pages on one page. And then you will have to change some custom stuff here. It looks like it's remembered from what I have done in previous setups, but what after you click on multiple, you want it to say pages per sheet custom and then change it to two by one, just like I have here. You want the page order to remain horizontal. And then this is an important part. Typically, it's automatically going to go to a portrait orientation. You want it to be a landscape orientation. So you are just going to set everything up exactly like I have it here, and then you're going to go ahead and click print. So you can see I have got it printed here and one thing that I do want to tell you that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is make sure that the fonts that you're using are going to be large enough for when you're resizing. You can see that with these interactive notes I really like them resized because the font is still large enough and clear enough for the students to read. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and cut these pages out and then I'm going to paste them into a notebook so you can see what it would look like for students interactive notebooks. All right, I've got these guys cut out and they are ready to paste into my notebook. Now I'm gonna use a spiral notebook, but I do want you to know if you use composition notebooks, these are actually resized perfectly for those composition notebooks.
All right, so there you have it, teachers. That is how you resize your PDFs to become smaller. Like I said before, if you're interested in resizing to make them much larger and into posters, check out that other video here on my channel. And if you've enjoyed the content in this video, I do wanna take a moment just to ask if you would not mind to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We create all of this content here on the channel for teachers and it's completely free. And so by taking the time to like our videos and subscribe to our channel, it enables us to keep creating free content for you and teachers around the globe. So until next time, happy teaching.